ਸੋ ਡੈਫੀਨਿਟਲੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਦੇ ਰਾਹੀਂ ਕਿ ਕੁਝ ਸਰਗਰਮੀਆਂ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਆਫ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੀ ਧਰਤੀ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਚੱਲ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਵੁਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਿਊਸ ਯੂ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਲੀਡਰਸ here in united states of america and when i talk about the state of politics when i talk about the state of entertainment when i talk about the state of uh, glamour so we have of course new york and i have one uh, versatile personality with me who have such qualities he can be a uh, one of the best if you can say into the entertainment industry into the politics into the glamour so let me introduce you with bobby k kloti a community leader of new york he, we would like to know about lots of events he do here whether it is a fundraising whether it is to bring the community together whether to make nassau county progressive so let me introduce you with bobby kekaloti thank you for having me first of all i like to say sat sri kal to all the viewer of jas punjabi and uh, thank you for having me uh, bobby ji main zarur jana chahna for my audience you do lots of uh, events to bring the community together and i can see the community is now day by day getting progressive and on top of that we would like to thank you because you given a space here in your office in nassau county so now we can interview lots of community leaders like you so this is our first interview from your office from the ground uh, report we're going to give to our viewers so we really want to thank you first and i would like to know about this county how this county is getting progressive day by day uh first of all you don't have to thank me and uh, i do not do fundraising what i do is anything i can do charity uh, to help other brother and sisters because one day somebody did helped me so my little contribution my little help is something i have the knowledge of if i can put all the intellectual and uh, other kind of people together to serve our sister and brothers or provide a knowledge that we should so they does not become victim and that's what all i'm trying to do i no need any credit for it because <coughs> when you know in punjabi ji kende neki kar te kuhin ch pa to me is if god had bless you to serve someone you no need any padding on your back because uh, unconditionally the community had given me the love and i'm trying to serve the community in the same passion uh, bobby ji it is your humbleness that you are saying this few words but definitely i would like to tell my viewers ki guru saab ne ek suneha ditta si ga awal allah no rupaya kudrat ke sab bande eh bani aj vi darj hai te no religion is higher than humanity so bobby kekloti is one of the personality you know do who follow such kind of words and who follow such you know things in his practical life and making the community better and he thinks that humanity is the first thing to serve and to make the community together uh, in another way so lekin jad main gal uh, bobby ji uh, is county di gal karda te main vekh rahe ki county hun apni bahut hi progressive ho rahi hai so uh, you, we know that every politician every businessman you know lots of charity you know lots lots of things for the community so they start their things from here and we are also pleasure to start our new beginnings here in long island from here so what do you have to say for the community uh, again uh, our community in uh, overall is a great community very well educated working hard they don't beg they work hard and i salute them i learned so much from them it is them is this community who had given me the opportunity and if i am but i learn from them i can show my respect and the knowledge i have to stand with them if when they are a victim you know there is a, don't look all the rosy picture our community have lot of problems lot of problems and uh, they somehow a lot of time they don't go out and tell their problems and i think we had to be vigilant and uh, we paying our taxes just like everybody else and then we have the every right just like everybody else and uh, if something they not aware of it i feel responsible to make sure uh, i share uh, the knowledge that i have and uh, it's not about one bobby there's a lot of bobby they may be just did not get opportunity that i have by coming back to you that we are uh asking to start from here we not giving you a favor you are giving favor to the community by serving them and letting the message reach out to the mass so 
uh, it's easy to take a credit. The people who are very lonely, people who just uh, maybe not happy, they're looking that kind of credit. I'm not looking that credit. I have no interest in it. It doesn't do any good for me. I'm very satisfied. Babi di kirpanar, badi mirwani hai. And uh, to me, uh, if you can serve someone, then don't look for a credit. Serve them because you want to. Don't serve them and uh, pretend. I can see when in Gurdwara and Mandar and other places, when people would like to give $100 or $1,000, they want their name to be mentioned all over. Right. To me, then you are not giving a donation. You're trying to get a recognition. It's nothing wrong to get a recognition as long as you are serving the community and the society. That's very important. Uh, you know, everybody who come and trust me and work with me and uh, want to serve the same society, my hat's off to them. It's humble me, they're intellectual, it's their love, it's their respect that I am very humble by, that I can serve. For example, I have a, a friend who's just standing there and Sharmanji brought him one day to me that uh, he was a victim of in his own house uh, by the some of the government officials. And uh, I did not know him who he is, but one thing I know that he have a problem and we should go and assist him. Uh, we did. That was his right. We did not beg. We demand his rights. And uh, today I see him very proudly standing and as a supporter. He's not supporting me. He's supporting the cause that I can stand with others. That's what he's all about. If Sharmanji bring 20 people, I try to serve all the 20s. I'm going to show, uh, can you show me that uh, one second? Definitely. So, uh, Jimmy, I was talking about a lot of load. This is my yes. motto. When Sharmaji brings somebody to me, and yeah. this is what I do, sometimes two, sometimes more, whoever come next, I say, let me drop everything and serve them. And I do. I have written my let me drop everything and work on your problem. And that's a very good spirit, I and think. And I do. And I do, and I believe if... Uh, let me say in Punjabi, Nanji. since I'm a Punjabi. Sache Pacha di inni mera o vaigru di, unne minu e mokka ditta koi seva karne da, te mein o seva karne jo o me tuk kruwa rea, ne te insaan kuch ni karda. Asi te apne kamand vechi mare phir de hai. So I'm very proud and privileged and humble that vaigru had given me that blessing that I'm able to serve someone. ते बहुत लोड है कि है कि जब ऐसी अमेरिका दी तरती दी होते आके वास जाने हैं सो सानू ऐसे दी पॉलिटिक्स दे वेच ऐसे दे कल्चर दे वेच ऐसे दे ट्रेडिशन दे वेच इन्वॉल्व होना पैंदा है बट जब सानू अजही पर्सनालिटीज गाइड कर दिया हन तातो सी जरूर समझ दे उस टाइम कि लोड है कि है कि सानू � I want to uh, interfere it. It's not about Nassau County. It doesn't matter where in America. If you look on the wall, there's not a one single president in this world that I did not meet. I met every president of the world or prime minister of the world three years in a row. It is not about Nassau County. Humanity is worldwide. As a chairman of the Human Rights Commission, I serve the people all over the world, not on Nassau County. And you heard me. But I told those elected officials, we are not a beggar. Right. We demand our rights, and I stand with the people. If they don't serve as a public servant, we have no problem to throw them out. So, humanitarian ground, Jekar Tanu, Jimmy Gisanu Babaji, thank you for correcting me. And uh, he served the community nationwide, worldwide. And in other set of a case of the life of the which, Jatak to see Kisevi in Sandi, Zamini Padarta Jake, Madat Karasak, the Insaniat Denate, the Zurur Karni Chaidia. I think that's a very good message he is delivering to the society. And I think he is giving back to the society. Jimmy and Nadasiaki, Manaski Jat, Saba, Eka Pachanbo, with Navneet Singh, Harkirat Singh Aluwali for just broadcasting. Thank you all for coming in. Something I think we've really done as a party as a whole um, and residents who live in that community. And sometimes I truly feel that, you know, 
Some people are right about that, Bishop. I'm not, I'm not going to say who that is, but I can tell you right now, I know that I've tried to be as... Paladino and Don Clavin do. Because genius. He do not... So you got to get back to the people. you gotta, you got to answer the people. you got to be there. you got to work. I'd like to welcome all of the Just TV viewers. We have a very special guest with us today for this exclusive segment of Just on Location. Um, sitting with me is Mr. Joe Cairo, who is the GOP chairman in Nassau County. Uh, Mr. Cairo, first of all, thank you so much for being with us today and for taking the time to uh, not just meet with our community um, in the one-on-one -on -one level that we just saw um, and, and tell them what kind of a uh, space they have with you in power in Nassau County, um, what kind of uh, service they can expect from you and your team, but also how you need their help for the upcoming election and you want them to get involved. Involved. Um, in this same vein, I'm going to ask you, uh, first of all, tell our viewers a little bit about what it is that the chairman does. Well, the Nassau County Republican Committee is made up of approximately 2,000 committee people, mm -hmm. and they represent all the communities throughout Nassau County. Under the state election law, there are two committeemen from each election district, which is like a neighborhood, mm -hmm. and all of these committeemen convene. So for Freeport, an example, they will all convene and they'll elect a member to serve on the executive committee. Mm -hmm. There's about 75 members of the executive committee from all the communities throughout the county. And then they elect a town chairman in Hempstead and an Oyster Bay, North Hempstead, and two city chairmen. And then they all elect a county chairman. So since May of 2018, I've been honored and fortunate to serve as the county chairman for the Republican Party here in Nassau County. So it goes without saying you have a long-standing um, understanding of the constituency that you're working with here in Nassau. Um, speaking specifically of your South Asian populations here, uh, can you characterize for us what you feel is their strongest contribution to the political system as of now? Well, I think that Nassau County obviously has changed. Uh, I moved to Nassau County. I, I grew up in New Jersey. Graduated law school in 1970, moved to Nassau County in early 1971. So, and I got active in politics. I'll tell you that story someday, somewhat by accident. So I've been active for 48 years. This is my 49th campaign. And I'm the type of person that when I get involved in whatever it is, I, I get involved. Give it 110%. I live in North Valley Stream. I've lived there for, for my entire uh, time here in Nassau County. I live close to the Queens line. So, for example, in North Valley Stream and in Elmont communities that I represented for almost over 19 years on the Hempstead Town Board from the 70s to the, to the mid-90s, um, there's been a drastic change. Elmont and North Valley Stream have changed over, over the years. We have a significant uh, southeastern population there. Um, and I believe that everyone should have an equal opportunity. Mm -hmm. I said earlier in a meeting that... Uh, my grandparents came to this country in the early 1900s uh, on my father's side from Italy, and my father in 1941 uh, became a member of Local 3, an electrical union, and he always told me he was the first Italian-American uh, to become a member of that local in Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So I think that the opportunity that he had then and that other groups of people who came to this country, came to the United States, had, I think that should hold true today. And I believe it does hold true. Um, I, I became very close with a group of young men. Uh, they were involved in, in football. That's how I got to know them and developed uh, a close relationship after high school and college. Now some of them are working. They're, they're looking to start their careers. And I've talked to them and I said to them that you have the same opportunity that I had and you have the same struggles and the same bumps in the road that I faced and people before me and you just got to be strong and you have to overcome that mm -hmm. and that's how I feel and I feel our party you know when I was a kid like in the 1950s um, people used to say the Democrats were the, pe the party of the people and the Republicans were the white collar well we certainly weren't white collar my father was a, an electrician and I believe that now it's totally changed mm -hmm. here in Nassau County uh, we've reached out to all groups, 
Um, they call them minorities, but I don't, I don't like that term necessarily. And we've reached out and we've tried to be all inclusive. And, you know, uh, Curtis Fisher uh, came onto the town board, God rest his soul, years ago, first African American. And Angie Cullen came onto the town board, the first woman and elected from Freeport, yep. uh, incidentally, mm-hmm. where your mom lives, where your family lives. So my attitude is this um, I've been around a long time and I want to expand the party. And I think tonight was a uh, a typical example meeting with well over 100, maybe 150 people, uh, many from the uh, Southeast Asian community. And that's what we want to do. We want to include everyone. Mm -hmm. When I say include everyone, I don't mean just go out and ask them to come and vote for our candidates. Mm -hmm. I think we've got a great team with Joe Saladino and his team in Oyster Bay and Don Clavin in Hempstead. I think we have good candidates. I think they stand for the right things. I think they're very concerned about taxes. That seems to be at the forefront of people's minds Mm -hmm. here in Nassau County. But I don't mean just asking for their vote. I mean including them. Mm -hmm. We want to hear what their concerns are. Um, I was disappointed tonight. When, uh, when it was said that well, some elected officials don't respond to people. That's your job. Mm-hmm. Someone calls you up, whether it's about a pothole or a stop sign or an issue maybe you don't have jurisdiction over with your kids getting on the school bus or whatever it might be, mm-hmm. maybe an Albany issue or a Washington issue, mm-hmm. I think you have a responsibility to be responsive to the people. Mm-hmm. And we want to include the people. We want to include uh, the Southeast Asians. Not only ask for their vote, but we want you to be part of our party. We want you to have the opportunity to advance if you want to, to be involved in government as well as politics, and to run for office. I mean, the day day is here. It's not coming, it's now. And that's how how I believe, and that's that's what, during the time that I serve as the chairman of the party, that's what we're going to try to accomplish. What can you say to our viewers who are watching today, uh, all across Nassau County, about what it is that the GOP, the Republican Party, your party is going to do for them that they may not know right now. Uh, you know, a lot of South Asians tend to skew to the Democratic side. But you are here in New York, one of the most diverse places in the world, one of the most affluent counties in the world. Um, here, the statistics are a little different. What are you and your team going to do to get the vote, to bring people over, to switch party lines from the South Asian community? I believe that Southeast Asians who live in Nassau County are the same, have the same concerns, the same issues, the same problems that the rest of the residents in Nassau County do. If you're a homeowner, one of the biggest things is taxes because let's face it, you go to work, maybe you have a second job. As Don Clavin said earlier tonight, the day of, uh, of the wife staying home and just raising the kids, that's pretty much long gone. Women have to work today to make enough money to be able to afford you know, to pay the, the taxes, which you know, in Hempstead, the Democrats tried to raise uh, last year. So. We're concerned about issues like that. What are we concerned about? We're concerned about taxes. We're concerned about safety and crime. And some of the bills that were passed in Albany this past session, um, a session where for the first time in many years, say for a two-year period around 2008, 2009, was totally controlled by one party, which is never any good. Uh, It was the most liberal, far to the left, socialist agenda ever. I mean, there's no bail anymore mm-hmm. except for violent crimes. Coming January 1st, um, there's no bail. You can't hold someone who's been arrested for a significant crime, a felony, unless it's a violent felony. You can't hold them. They're out, they're out on the street again. So people are concerned about the safety of their children. They're concerned about the education of their children. Mm-hmm. They're concerned about the water quality. And what I would say to the Southeast Asian community, Whatever your concerns are, and I believe you share the same concerns, we're, we're going to address it. We are addressing it. And furthermore, those individual concerns that you may have that may be somewhat unique to your, to your community, bring them to our attention. Mm-hmm. Don Clavin, Joe Saladino, the rest of our team, they will be responsive. They're not always going to please you, but they're going to give it 110% effort, and hopefully most of the time you'll be, you'll be satisfied. At least you'll say they tried. And hopefully most of the time, you'll be happy with the result. Uh, Mr. Cairo, thank you so much for your time. But before we go, please remind our viewers what's coming up in November and what you want them to do. In November, we have local elections. We have elections for all of our 19 county legislators. 
Uh, the Republicans now hold a majority, 11 to 8. We have elections in all of our towns. Don Clavin, uh, supervisor in, in Hempstead, running for supervisor. Supervisor Saladino in, um, in Oyster Bay. We have election day is Tuesday, November 5th. However, for the first time ever, there's early voting. Mm -hmm. There are 15 locations throughout the county, the Board of Elections in Mineola, but we have um, Lawrence Village Hall, we have the Wantaw Library, we have the West Hempstead Library, we have Levitt Town Hall, so we have location, we have Massapequa, we have Town Hall South, Oyster Bay Town Hall South. So we have 15 locations where you can go, go and vote early. If you're older, if you're not able to make it on Election Day, you can go and vote from Saturday, October 26th, right through uh, Sunday, November 3rd. What I would ask everyone to do is consider our records, consider what we've done, read the literature you get in the mail, um, consider what our Republican platform is, who our candidates are, be it Clavin or Saladino. And I think if you do, and you're concerned about the quality of life in Nassau County, you're concerned about being able to afford to live in Nassau County, you're concerned about the safety and welfare of your, your spouse, your children, and I think this year, local election, you're going to vote Republican. And that's what I would ask everyone to do. Consider it, and I'm sure, I feel relatively certain, you're going you're gonna to see that we offer a great team, we have the right platform, and you're going to want our Republicans to serve you locally in the towns and the county. Thank you again for your time. Uh, Mr. Joe Cairo, Chairman of the GOP here in Nassau County, Long Island. Thank you everyone for watching this segment. And remember, go out, vote, because if you don't vote, you can't get involved. Thank you.